so much for hanging out with me on a Sunday morning. Hopefully you got to sleep in a little bit. I know what I crave on a Sunday morning, and that is the all-American breakfast sandwich. I want it all. I want the pancakes, I want the eggs, I want the bacon, I want the sausage, or maybe I'll do it in an English muffin. What if there was one pan that cooked your entire breakfast sandwich? Well, Carrie Mulatto is here, <laughs> and she's bringing you the Holstein breakfast station. It is yes. brand new from your friends at Holstein your breakfast in seven minutes flat. Isn't that great? Hey, Carrie, and welcome back. Thank you so Good much. To see you. And in one maker, which I think is always the best. So for easy cleanup, this is the way to go. Let me show you inside real fast. What makes this a breakfast station is the fact that you can actually waffle in this area. You have two spots to waffle. We have a griddle on this side, and then we have our grill with an actual drip tray right here at the front. So now we can actually put together our entire breakfast piece by piece. Please Please know, just like any other Holstein item, you don't have to fill up every section every time. So if you did want to just maybe make waffles one day, you could do that. If you wanted to go ahead and just make your egg that one morning, you could do that. So that's what I love about this. And because it's nonstick, it's always easy to clean. And I think that that is so important in the morning, especially when we're in a rush. So here I've actually just cracked an egg inside. So just with a little jostle right there, you'll see how this comes out. Perfect. So I'm going to pop it right over here with my breakfast. And then I'm um. going to take my sausage over on this side. So maybe I just want to do sausage and waffle over here. And if I wanted, I could make that into a sandwich. I could serve it separately. It's entirely up to you. Now, again, I mentioned that nonstick surface. What's so important about that is with a simple wipe, you are ready to go again. And again, that to me is the most important thing with most of my appliances. Because if something's really hard to right. clean... You know, you're not going to use it. Exactly. And here's what happens in my kitchen when I'm making breakfast sandwiches or pancakes or waffles <laughs> or sausage or eggs. Four pans, four different burners going. Right. As soon as you make one person eggs, you're, you have to clean out that pan and start over. This is a way that you can make a breakfast sandwich or waffles or eggs or sausage or ham or perhaps it's those little toasted English muffins mm -hmm. every single time and have them turn out perfectly. You don't even have to turn on the stove anymore. <laughs> and you can use every different section for different ingredients. Absolutely, and here I'm doing my healthy breakfast. So now I just did a, a wheat uh, waffles. Okay. So I used a, a wheat mix. And then I'm doing an egg white. And over here, I'm just gonna do like my, uh, my veggies and make kind of a hash, like a veggie hash. So however you wanna use it, the fact that you're getting all these different areas makes it so simple. So if you wanted to do a sausage, a piece of ham, bacon, mm -hmm. um, pre-cooked meats will cook faster, so you'd want to load those at the same time you load everything else. If you wanted to do uh, a meat from scratch, I would say start cooking your other items after you've started the meat. So let the meat start a few moments before, but ideally you're looking about seven minutes to have everything completely finished. If it's a household of two, you can actually cook each thing separately and how you saw me separate it out, you could do that because it's pretty good for the serving size. Yeah. But if you want to just for yourself, something easy and quick, let's move on over here and do our and sandwich. And it's a national compact size. I mean, I it's not it. taking up a lot of room. Yeah. It's about, oh, about eight inches by 10 inches. Uh, it slides into a drawer or under the kitchen cabinet. And I love the idea that, you know, the kids could have fun making their own breakfast. You put this out on the countertop. Yeah. And everyone Great uses idea. this instead of five or eight different frying pans. Precisely. <laughs> that are going to sit all day in your sink until someone has a chance to get back and Look clean up that big mess. How easy. And it does that perfect round circular size. So you're actually getting, so if you go out and buy those frozen waffles in the frozen food mm -hmm. section, no longer do you have to do that. My husband's gluten-free. So for me, it's very important. I have to pay extra money for those. And sure. so now you're able to make your waffles sugar-free, gluten-free. Maybe you want to put fresh fruit in them. Maybe you want to make whole wheat waffles as we did over oh, here. Um, you know, there's lots of different allergies and reasons why we have to really cater to certain types of foods. Don't pay extra money for that. Make it in minutes at home with Holstein. The reason our whole you know, statement of who we are is making it easy and fun in the kitchen is because it should be easy and fun in the kitchen. We should have a good time. You shouldn't dread getting into the kitchen. 
And with what we're offering, that's what makes it simple. Imagine just plugging this in, in less than two minutes, you're ready to go. This is actually from a biscuit. So when okay. you actually, you, you buy them in the tube. Sure. We took one biscuit and we halved it and just flattened it. When you place it on the waffle oh. side, wait till you see what happens. It becomes a flaky, crusty amazingness that we are gonna actually put. This is our chicken patty and this is our egg omelet. Wow. So again, placing it all in, this is always say the hardest part, closing it. You don't have to worry <laughs> about any dials, any buttons, anything. When you plug this in, the indicator light lets you know that it's on. It lets you know that it's ready when it goes green, which again takes about two minutes and you're off to the races. So imagine using this in the office. Imagine if you have a student in college, this is perfect because you're always looking for smaller appliances. They don't have full kitchens. Wow. Uh, maybe if you need sure. to have, you know, something near your desk at work. I think that's always really great if you just want to heat some things up. Because it's nonstick top and bottom, your imagination will come up with even more ideas than I'm going to give you and I'm going to get creative here in a second. <laughs> it's so it's such a brilliant idea. I mean, I, I wish I would have thought of this. Right? Look at because this. Because who wants to do all those dishes? And who doesn't love having one pan that does it all? You can you can do your breakfast sandwiches, Look you can that. do pancakes or waffles from scratch. You can yeah. get those grid marks that you love on a waffle. And sometimes you don't want to, you know, spend money on an item that just does one thing, right? right. A waffle maker makes waffles, but then you're still getting out another pan for the eggs, you're getting another pan for the bacon, you're getting out another pan for sausage. Yeah. What if you just did it all in one pan, and because it cooks so fast, everyone can kind of have breakfast their way. You exactly. You know, you can sort of do just the perfect ingredients and I like you. how you said your way, because maybe you like your waffles a little softer. Maybe uh, your spouse likes them really, really hard and toasty. You can keep them in a little longer, a little shorter. It's all depending upon what you like. And what I do love about this is now I'm going savory. This is where your brain can kind of get interesting. These are cheese waffles. Oh. So I actually took a waffle mix and we put Parmesan and cheddar cheese inside. And we also added just a little salt to give it that savory. So I'm going to actually construct a burger because you got, there's all these burger places now. And that's like the big cool thing is to have it on waffle bread. Right. Well, now you can make that at home. So here I did my onion over here on this side. So I'm just going to pop that out, put him right here. And then we're going to top it with, again, our cheese waffle on top. Stop it. That's so good. Now you, you can see really on the inside that there's four different sections. Yeah. Two will have sort of the waffle style yep. grid pattern. Yep. One is going to have the marks so you can drain the oil from the sausage yep. or Here's the bacon or maybe it's Canadian bacon or maybe it's your burger patty or you could do a veggie patty, anything mm -hmm. that you love. And then there's a one that's a nice smooth finish and that's gonna be for your eggs. Perfect. And you know, and that's the thing. And, and as I pointed out before, you can cook in each one. You can only maybe, if you wanna make waffles one just, morning, just that's totally waffles. fine to do that. Here, I'm going to actually, waffling, is a thing. It's now something that we always say, will it waffle? And the answer is yes. So you can yes, pretty much waffle it, it is a thing. anything. So we're actually just gonna do like a hand, like a, I think we just did a grilled cheese sandwich. So we put a couple different types of cheeses in here. I just cut the bread to fit perfectly in that waffled section. Another one that is a fan favorite is our macaroni and cheese. So if you take macaroni and cheese and you just add some breadcrumbs to help it stick together a little better, then nothing becomes an unusable leftover. We're actually gonna waffle our mac and cheese so you just press it right down in there. There's nothing else you have to do. Then in my griddle side, I'm going to make a little quesadilla. So we just put some cheese with those. Fabulous. Those you buy in the store just that size. And then let me just grab my spatula from over here. I'm actually going to make a crab cake in my grill side. And again, because that drip tray is there, which you can kind of see at the front right here, any oils, if you were doing burger meat, mm -hmm. turkey, anything, would come down into the drip tray right here, which is easily wow. removable at the end. You just rinse that out and you're back and off to the races again. So now we have four completely different savory meals in here that we can Looks just delicious. close. And all you have to do is just close it. As it cooks, it's gonna set down on it, kind of like how a panini press would. And it's okay. going to, so grill marks will show up in your grill section. The waffling will actually waffle through sandwiches, through, I've done mm -hmm. everything from like, bacon, chicken, um, it's crazy. Like you can really waffle anything. So the, the fact that you have the griddle, yeah. it's cooking from top and bottom. The grill is cooking from top and bottom. So, you so never, convenient. You never need to flip. All right, well, only a couple minutes left. I'll trade you places here and yeah. you can uh, dive into our next presentation. But here's how it works. It's brand new here at HSN and you're seeing it here at our spring price, $34.95. We have four flexible payments, less than $9 a month. This is so convenient. If there's just one or two of you, you want one burger, 
you want to heat up one turkey patty, you want to just do one breakfast sandwich, you want waffles for one, or, or maybe you just have the kids, you know, the kids want a waffle, someone else wants an egg, someone else wants, you know, the Canadian bacon or the <laughs> sausage. You can do it all in one pan and you're not cooking on the stove. You're not getting out a thousand different, you know, frying pans. You can even make, is that dessert? Yes. So I did, oh, I did a brownie in the waffle section. So you could just take a regular brownie batter. And then I did cookies in the griddle and grill section. Let them cool. So this is, we turned our machine off right before the presentation because they have to harden up a little bit. So as you know, when you make cookies or you make anything, sure. they're gonna be really soft when they first come out. So after you let them cool, how much do we pay for these to buy them already frozen in the frozen food section wow. when you could make these in minutes now with your breakfast station? So again, sandwiches don't have to just be breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> they can be dessert sandwiches can, can too. Can that be my breakfast? Sure. I, I've, you know, I've been known to uh, once or twice have breakfast for dessert. It can happen. <laughs> Why not? I mean, think amazing? about it. Uh, yeah, I want to try a little bit yeah, of that. Yeah, please that do. Tasty cookie. Enjoy. Yum, yum, There's nothing yum. like it. I think that honestly, if you can serve those, like, and mm. you can just keep, keep popping these out because it only takes a few minutes. So if you're doing it for like a get together or maybe mm -hmm. a dessert in the evening, um, what I love about this is that if you forgot to pre-plan, again, two minutes for this to warm up. You don't have to worry about warming up the oven, taking out seven, eight different pots and pans. You can get this going in two mm -hmm. minutes and have something popping out within five to seven. So I think that that's and what's incredible. Yeah, and if you're serving breakfast for a lot of people, does anybody want the same breakfast? Never. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants the same breakfast. Everyone says, I want eggs. I want bacon. I want a pancake. I want a waffle. <laughs> you say, you know what? You can make it yourself. Right? <laughs> and that's what I do if my nieces and nephews are around. I'll help you make it, but everyone has to use the Look Holstein breakfast station. I'm not turning on the stove. I'm not making a mess of pans. And now everyone can have it their way. And it cooks so fast. You can have waffles in minutes. You can have your egg white almond. You can put in basically any pancake or, or waffle mix or? Yes, uh, so you make your own mix and or use an already prepared what if, mix. What you if they're already frozen? Could you put like a frozen waffle in there and heat well, it up? Well, of course you could. Uh, you okay. could because well, what or would happen is it's heating top and bottom, so it's doing the same thing that your toaster would be doing. Um, but you know, the premise also is that you don't have to buy them already made, so you can make right. these from scratch very quickly. Um, mm -hmm. But this will work for anything that needs to be heated top and bottom. Okay. You don't have to flip them. So. Just because I don't want to make a mess, I'm gonna. But you can see that yeah. those have grilled beautifully. Um, so every time, those were our whole wheat waffles and our, our whites. I want to get back over here and kind of show you how fun and cool this is. But you you know, when these come out, they are so delish that they come out nice and flaky what and brown and waffled. These are biscuits. Oh, the biscuits. So that's the, ah, yeah, yeah, it's obviously very hot, but just know that look how, how flaky and lovely and yummy. So I would make them a little bit bigger just so that, of course, if you're making a sandwich, but they came out perfectly browned, as you can see. Yum. That's why everything waffles Isn't that nice? Great. You don't have to turn on the oven and like, you know, wait 15 minutes for it to get to 350 before you <laughs> bake something. Look at that. You can bake in this. You can get your perfect little chicken patty. You can have your sausage patty you can have your canadian bacon you can you can make just one or two pieces of bacon if you want yeah. you don't have to heat up the stove and make a mess in a frying pan exactly and i love that the oil drains away right down here make your favorite eggs and then who doesn't who doesn't love a breakfast sandwich and clean this up is, is so simple <laughs> again just wiping it down and go can't beat that well kelly uh this is just amazing so thank mm -hmm. you so much